Good thing it didn't rain, too, because we got all the rain from April over this past weekend, right, Vanessa? It's I mean, it really just happened. Point. Yes, and in fact, we got enough rain to bump us into the seventh wettest April on record oh my spot. Goodness. Yes, and in the park, over five inches of rain, some places nearly eight inches. Incredible stuff over the weekend. Thankfully, today, a little sun to help dry us out, but I still saw some massive challenges out there. Uh, as we look live outside today, it is quite a beautiful look over the park. It's a mixture of sun and clouds in the city, but we do have showers rolling through north and west, even a rumble of thunder occasionally. 61 right now, your headlines. It's hit and miss showers every single day this week. Friday looks like the best chance of not seeing too many showers. It's gonna be on the cool side too. The payoff next weekend looks gorgeous, and I'm not just talking in comparison. I'm talking about this is the type of spring weather I think many of us look forward to. We'll look at that in just a moment. First, let's talk those precip chances. As we continue through the night, it's a 30% chance. Tuesday, 60. Wednesday, 30. Thursday, 40. Friday, 20%. No day is a washout. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds, but generally speaking, it's an unsettled pattern, and every day we have the chance for a little bit more in the way of wet weather. Meanwhile, temperatures will stay below seasonable. We should be at 68 Today, the high was 61. Moving forward, it will be 50s. That is, of course, until your weekend. Temperatures right now across the region, 57 in Greenwich at 61 in Edison. We have 61 in Brick, 47 in Monticello. The culprit of this persistently unsettled pattern, a very sluggish area of low pressure that just wants to hang out, and it will do so all the way through Thursday, finally pushing off the coast then, but still some residual wraparound will catch us on Friday. Hour by hour, here's how it looks. As of midnight, maybe a thunderstorm rolling through. Thunderstorms tonight could produce a gusty wind, as well as maybe some small hail. Tomorrow morning, showers lift through the region again, not a washout. And then we watch and we see that reflection there very quickly of maybe a little bit of a wintry mix at our highest elevations. Your Tuesday unsettled, of course. And then as we make our way into Wednesday, the story doesn't change much. It's mostly cloudy skies with showers rolling through the region as that area of low pressure slowly moves through. Tonight and overnight, we're going to watch out for a shower, maybe a thunderstorm. When you wake up tomorrow, 48 degrees, mainly cloudy skies, cool, still some showers around. Tomorrow afternoon, it's a high of just 57 degrees, more than 10 degrees below where we should be. Showers and even an isolated thunderstorm possible, and it's still breezy tomorrow, just as it was today. Your pollen report, tree levels are moderate. The rain, this is one of the good things about the rain. The rain brought the pollen levels down, grass, ragweed, weeds, mold, all at low levels. As we check out your weekend forecast, here's the big payoff, folks. Saturday, we are finally really drying out. 67 bright skies. Sunday, 74 degrees. It is going to be a beauty. And in addition, the rainfall also helped to bring, yes, our reservoir levels up to 100%, which is normal. As we look at your extended forecast, cool and unsettled all the way through Friday. And then your weekend, as mentioned, looking amazing. We'll be uh, warming up to the mid and upper 70s for the second half of your weekend into Monday. Ooh, that's going to feel nice. Oh, my gosh. Quite the switch up. Yeah. Totally. Thank you, Vanessa. Well, after.